Okay, so we're following up now from our previous um, thing, our previous tutorial. I'm going to show you now some variables. So I'm going to put in a variable t. I'm going to call that 0.5. And I'm going to call another r. For my rest, I'm going to call 0.7. So now if I put in release t and sleep r, Release T, 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 almost there, sleep R, release T, and there we go. I press run now. And the power of variables is a lovely lesson for talk children. If I had made that into 0 0.2 and a much faster release, what's going to happen? Or if I do it longer, release for 1.5 and we'll just do a sleep for 2 and then make things a bit more interesting 0 0.8 and 0 0.5 so now we're going to have an overlap Um, because like I said, um, in the first one second, there'll be two timelines. It'll be 0 0.8 seconds for the C, uh, 0 0.5 seconds, D is suddenly pressed. It's like holding down two at the same time. It just shows the power of variables. Just one change here. And just feeds through. So it's a very nice simple lesson showing children how we do variables. And then I'm going to show the repeat. So to do a repeat, two dot times do. And then at the end, put a little sleep R there, and then put an end. So now everything within that loop will be repeated twice. You don't need to worry about um, spaces. It looks nice, but you need to worry about spaces. Going to press run. Now, if you want to be really clever, you can just control X and put that to there, and then here, and then we can just redefine R and T at the end. So now T equals 0 0.4, and R equals 0 0.5 and ask children hang on, what's going to happen when you get to the end of that um, of that line um, or just do t equals t plus 0 0.1 r equals r plus 0 0.1 and we'll repeat that 10 times this could be random And if you watch the numbers uh, changing, I stop that. That's annoying me now. Um, but it just shows how quickly and how powerfully um, variables can be used in um, in computing. Okay, thank you for watching. Oh, um, I'm going to try something. I haven't done this before, so I'm going to see how fast it can do it. So I'm going to go for 0 0.02 and make a rest of 0 0.1. And then I'm going to just change this to um, 0 0.01 and D. 
do that. I wonder what's going to happen now. And that was it. Well, that was kind of interesting. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.